While collecting personal paranormal experiences for this channel, a friend of mine said to me, I don't know if I have any paranormal experiences. What does that mean? It made me realize that the U.S. culture has a very limited view of what is paranormal and what isn't. Here, paranormal and supernatural experiences have all been relegated to Halloween-style scary stories. Or they are attributed to evil or the work of the devil. I can't say whether some paranormal experiences are actual interactions with evil entities. What I can say is that there is so much more to the paranormal world than just scary stories and frightful encounters with strange beings. The paranormal also consists of beautiful mystical events, spiritual awakenings, and spiritually transformative experiences. Paranormal encounters with entities from other dimensions and other vibrational planes can be positive. They can cause us to have a more open view of our reality and give our existence deeper meaning. The Lakota, the Sioux Nation, worldview was all about this knowing, this understanding that we live within a vast, invisible spirit world. The Lakota understood that we were all part of a much more powerful, unseen world. That humans, the earth, and all the animals were an important part of the Creator's world and that we were all connected. The Lakota cosmology is based on that core belief. Everything stems from that central understanding. The Lakota view the spirit world, the paranormal world, and the physical world as all connected. And they also view the spirit world as mostly friendly and helpful, with some mischief makers too. It's a shame that mainstream culture views paranormal experiences so negatively because many of them are not scary at all. For example, is a glowing ball of energy floating down a hallway scary? I didn't think so when I saw one. I found it beautiful, mysterious, and amazing. It still moves me to this day. But many people would be terrified if they saw something like that. Why? Why would that be scary? Because this society says that the paranormal doesn't exist, or is evil and that we should fear it. Our mainstream culture also assumes that paranormal experiences are physical experiences only. Something that happens outside of our bodies, such as disembodied voices or furniture moving by itself. But paranormal experiences can also include inner experiences. For example, one time I was driving to my physical therapist's office. I had just gotten on a bridge that connected the east and west sides of Portland. All of the sudden, I was filled with intense feelings of joy and gratitude. It was like somebody turned on a switch in my brain and flooded me with a powerful surge of bliss. Needless to say, I was dumbstruck. There I was, driving down the freeway while being struck with an overwhelming feeling of joy, love, and thankfulness. The feelings of joy and bliss were so overwhelming that I started crying and laughing at the same time. This intense feeling lasted for a couple of minutes as I continued driving. Then I came around a bend where a bunch of cars were trying to squeeze into a narrow tunnel. And the mystical feelings immediately stopped. Once I was through the tunnel and free from the traffic, the intense feelings 
immediately started again. The mystical experience lasted a couple more minutes, and by then I had decided to just enjoy the bliss. Once I got off the freeway and came to the first stoplight, the feelings just vanished. That wasn't the only time a beautiful paranormal event happened. It also happened four or five other times. About a month later, I was driving to a physical therapy appointment again, and it happened again in the same spot. I'm thinking, why the same spot? Why that exact same spot? And something similar happened several years before that in another part of town. There's a sidewalk that runs along an empty field on the east side of the city. It's pretty out there and empty. Not much except trees, cows, fields, and a mountain in the sky. The first time I went walking out there, I encountered the most incredible feeling of joy. The first part of the walk was normal until I got to the huge old trees that stood in the field. Suddenly I was overcome with such an enormous feeling of joy, peace, and happiness. I stood there and I marveled at the intense feelings. This incredible experience lasted about five minutes. I stood there and stared at the trees and the cows in wonder. This happened about four or five more times in that exact location over the next several months. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew that I wanted to keep going back there and experience the incredible feelings again. After the fourth or fifth visit, it stopped happening. These are amazing and beautiful paranormal experiences that I will treasure forever. Had I accidentally stumbled into the spirit world? Or had the spirit world reached out to me for some reason? I believe both can happen. And I believe that they happen all the time. Spiritual, mystical, and paranormal experiences are all part of the spirit world, which is interacting with us all the time. And every time I have a bizarre experience, I'm filled with wonder at this mysterious, magical realm we call life. Do you have any paranormal or mystical experiences that you'd like to share? We'd love to hear them. Leave your story in the comments section or email us. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Have a beautiful day in this fascinating paranormal world we live in.